Hey guys, this is Scott here from Metalhead Software, here to take you through what will be our last reveal video before launch. Today we're going to cover a bunch of core gameplay details. First, a reminder that we've taken the proportions of the characters in a much more realistic direction, including their height and their reach. That's going to create space on the field for the game to unfold more realistically. We've also recalibrated things like player speed, acceleration, and arm strength such that plays unfold with more realistic timing. That extra space and that more accurate timing is going to lead to a simulation that's more realistic overall, and of course we've made sure that none of this comes at the cost of the feel of the game. We've mentioned things like double switches and defensive position swaps in previous videos, but something we've added since is strategic defensive positioning. Now we don't want you to necessarily have to think about defensive positioning too much if you don't want to. So the way that this is going to work is that obvious defensive positioning changes like bringing your infield in when the winning run is on third base, will happen automatically. More aggressive defensive positioning changes will be up to you to make, overriding that default behavior. SMB2 tracks errors and unearned runs, so that means more accurate batting average and earned run average statistics. And a no-hitter is still a no-hitter even if your second baseman boots a routine ground ball in the bottom of the ninth. Next, let's cover the game's Mojo, Fitness, and Injury Systems. You might remember from our reveal video last summer that Mojo will persist between games and was built to capture the idea of streaks and slumps in baseball. It affects player confidence, clutch late in the game, and will respond to in-game performance and can go up and down just like it did in the first game. And when players are rested, it will tend to recover towards neutral. The new fitness and injury system models the way player health can change over time. Long stints without rest, especially for catchers, and involvement in plays that tend to have a high risk of injury can adversely affect the player's skills. Injuries can range from small things like bruises, which only have a small effect on player skills, up to things like muscle strains, which can have a substantial negative effect on player skills. Player fitness tends to recover towards a state of healthy with rest. The game's more minor injuries might take a game or two to recover from, whereas the more major injuries might take a handful of games. Mojo and Fitness will work together to drive bench utilization and to make sure that there are interesting decisions involved in setting your starting lineup throughout the season. There are some substantial changes to the game's pitching mechanics. First, you'll notice that your pitchers have limited pitch arsenals. So some pitchers will have as few as two pitches while some will have as many as five. Power pitches and normal pitches are more differentiated in SMB2. Power pitches are still a little bit harder to control, but will have more extreme velocities and more break. This should create some interesting risk-reward mechanics, especially in online play against human players. Pitch speeds are also a little bit more realistic in SMB2, so you'll see more realistic gaps in velocity between fastballs and changeups, for example. Now, shared screen pitching in the game has also been reworked. When I say shared screen, I mean when the player who's batting and the player who's pitching are playing on the same machine. In SMB1, you could change both your pitch type and location before the pitch, which would be visible to your opponent, and then during the windup, you could tweak both of those, which would be invisible to your opponent. But that was a little bit tricky. In SMB2, you can hide your pitch selection before the windup, and then focus only on changing the location of the pitch during the windup. The way pitcher accuracy affects pitches in shared screen pitching has also changed. In SMB1, low accuracy meant a more finicky reticle. In SMB2, low accuracy means a larger region in which your pitch may end up. The batting simulation in SMB2 has been tweaked for more realistic exit velocities and launch angles. Notably, neither you nor the AI will be able to pull an outside pitch on an early swing for a jack. Likewise, you won't be able to swing late and fist an inside pitch for an oppo dinger. A category of hit that you would have seen a lot of in SMB1 was a straight up pop-up where you'd typically see the opponent's catcher making the play for an out. In SMB2, the incidence of this type of hit has been reduced in favor of more foul balls into the backstop and crowd. On the defensive side of things, the odds of a defender making a play cleanly have been better tuned to account for the situation. You'll see fielders easily handling plays like high one hoppers, but having a much harder time with, for example, sharply hit short hops. The fielding skill of your players also matters more than it did in SMB1. There's a big spread between the number of errors made by low and high skill fielders. High skill fielders can dive substantially further than low skill fielders, 
and the speed that players can get throws off is also dependent on fielding skill. Lastly, you're going to see more realistic deflection velocities when fielders don't field the ball cleanly. We've also tweaked the throwing mechanic and added throwing errors. Tapping the throw button will get you a conservative but accurate throw. If you hold the button down longer, you'll see the meter filling up. This indicates that your throw will have more velocity. If you hold the throw button down too long though, you're going to see the throwing meter start to recede. This indicates that the chances of an inaccurate throw are increasing. The types of throwing errors that can occur include low throws, which your baseman will have to pick out of the dirt, wide throws, which will pull your baseman off the bag, and outright overthrows. A couple of other little things on throwing is that we've recalibrated the effective arm strength on throw speeds to be a little more meaningful, and also added better footwork to the throwing animations. On the base running front, the most notable change we've made is to recalibrate the base runner speeds and jumps out of the batter's box to get an appropriate number of infield and bunt hits, and also to get a better balance between the number of doubles and triples. Also a couple of quick notes on how base running ego affects the base running mechanic. As base running ego increases, the reaction time of your base runner's automatic reactions is going to slow down, leaving the onus more and more on you to make sure that your runners don't get doubled off. Also, you'll notice that the CPU controlled defense will become much more effective at trapping and nailing you in rundown situations as your base running ego increases. In general, you'll see the AI being much smarter and more aggressive on defense and on the base paths as your base running and fielding egos increase. Lastly, there's a couple of big off the field features that should be mentioned here. The first is that SMB2 now supports mid game saves. So no more worrying about if you have enough time to finish a game when you sit down to play. The second is that our custom season and elimination modes will support simulating your own games. So if you've played through the meat of a season, clinched a playoff spot, and you just want to skip ahead to the playoffs, you'll be able to do that. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching and looking forward to seeing you on launch day.